Hello and welcome. A lot of excitement here at Stamford Bridge because it's a London derby that we have to bring you, namely Chelsea against West Ham. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former West Ham player Stuart Robson. Stuart, prospects for this game, what do you think? Well, from a West Ham point of view, Derek, they're going to have to get their tactics absolutely right. If they play well, close the ball down and stop Chelsea playing, this could be a really tight game. Otherwise, Chelsea will dominate. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kick-off. And dispossessed. Conte. Kai Havertz. Mount. On to Jorginho. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Antonio. Pablo Fornals. Takes aim. Oh, a tremendous block. Conte. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Kai Havertz. Craig Dawson. And a good looking ball. Timo Werner. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Mount. Top class defending. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Rice, tremendously strong in the tackle. Werner, promising looking ball. It is now with Jorginho. They're following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Over it comes, and the delivery lacked a bit of guile. Havertz, and he read it really well, fine save. Going short. Oh, a 
a fine block. Werner. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. again and a swift response required after the setback and an astute piece of defending and they keep the ball advantage Chelsea he's given it straight to the opposition really good attacking play it did look on for them but not to be Suchek racing forward trying to catch them out through ball attempted but completely overhit all in all a broken counter attack and using his strength to shield the ball and Goro Conte James Jorginho On to Alonso. Havertz. Cuts it back. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So 2-0 now. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Antonio, terrific block. Rhys James. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. Well, the ball is rolling again and no getting away from it. Delightful stuff served up by Chelsea in the first half. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? Antonio. Pablo Fornals with it. And Chelsea with the ball again. Mount. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Craig Dawson. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Lanzini. Rice. Cuts it back. 
And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches. And over it comes. And just wide. There really wasn't much in that at all. Well, we're into the final half hour. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Antonio! That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Playing it in, not messing around with that clearance. Conte, and the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Press well, this looks promising. No nonsense clearance. Encouraging move from West Ham. Suchek. Well read to ease the pressure. Into the final 20 minutes. Conte. And Havertz. Mateo Kovacic. Mount. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Suchek and it's with Tomasz Suchek really sitting deep now that could be problematic well he didn't miss by all that much well he struck it quite nicely but the keeper was always in control of the situation he knew that was going wide Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Coming onto the pitch, number 22, Saeed Benrahma. Conte. Werner. The ball with Marcos Alonso. Timo Werner. And Havertz. And back with Havertz. Well, it could be on for him here. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish.
It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Suchek. Vladimir Kuval. Craig Johnson. But well, he could run onto it here. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Ben Rama. Rice with it. Well, closed down straight away. Mount. And that is that. The referee brings this match to an end and Chelsea get the three points. What did you make of their performance as a whole? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, a high-level contribution from Kai Havertz. Stuart, sum up for us what most impressed you about his performance. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.